Hello everyone, so today I'm here with this friend of mine and we're going to talk about cosplay. Uh, I often get asked how I do my cosplays, how I break the that break and I remember how I do my cosplays, how I break them in pieces uh, in order to build them and what's the final result and why I've opted for that particular uh, option instead of any other, for example. I mean, uh, doing cosplay is also being creative. And so it's sometimes a personal choice to choose that fabric instead of that one, those gems instead of those paint instead of embroidery. Uh, that depends on you. But I think it's when we share our process that we learn, and I mean, I've learned so much with other cosplays and their successes, their failures, and also my own failures. Um, so I'm going to start this series by showing you uh, a cosplay and one of my favorite ones, which is Anna, the coronation dress from Frozen 1. But before I start on that, uh, this is going to be a new series here in my channel. I'm going to show you guys the finished product instead of the work in progress. And this because I don't usually film or record uh, my work in progresses. I do take photos, but I don't usually record them in video. So uh, by doing this, you can see the final result, but also, uh, I'll be telling you guys the step-by-step -step and my choice choices and why I did those. Uh, so yeah, I got this here. I'm not using my other dress form. I'm using this one. This isn't my size, so I'll have to be clipping <laughs> some stuff with like uh, pressers and clips and whatever. Uh, because this is not my size, either bust or waist. Uh, but it will be enough for me to show you guys what to do. So, let's go. So, uh, Anna fro from Frozen. Uh, this is, if you go to my closet, this is what you'll find. <laughs> but we're going to start from the what's under this super heavy dress and I'm going to do I'm going to show you guys what I used to have and then how I've upgraded it so the first layer of this cosplay is obviously white stockings but as you can imagine I'm not going to put those in here uh, and also bloomers uh, I've made these bloomers uh, quite a few years ago already and they're still good. Um, I use uh, elastic lace here in the bottom to match the underskirt but these are the bloomers, this is the second layer of the cosplay over the, the white stockings. Then what I used to have is this petticoat which isn't much but it's what I used to have it's just a few layers of tulle over a hundred skirt of polyester and this was the third layer and over this I had a underskirt which I also used on my Merida cosplay, so it's for both of them. It has an elastic waistband and it goes almost to the ground and also has the that trim that I told you guys about. So this was it. Now on top I used to I usually use a corset and then I put 
the rest of the dress. I don't make I didn't make the top as a corset because at the time I didn't know how to make corsets. I mean, I still haven't done a corset in my life. <laughs> but um, what I always see is corsets wear undergarments, not to wear above or on the dress as the dress as the top. Um, so since it's an undergarment, I never did a corset. I usually buy my own on eBay or Amazon, AliExpress, whatever. Um, and I use them as undergarments. Then I put on the skirt. Now, let's have in mind that it has been a few years since I made this cosplay and it was my first big project. So, this is the inside part and this is the outside part. We have these clasps here uh, to close on the waistband and it closes with a zipper in this green part. The inside skirt, it's like this, it was added later and this is what the inside looks like. I didn't have a overlocker at the time and it's embroidery with embroidered with a full stitch. Now, originally this skirt didn't have this inside part, it just had this. And it was already super heavy, it's, it's, in, it's entirely embroidered by hand. Okay, so it's a bit loose here, but it's normal, it's not my size. Now, I'm going to show you guys. So this part, oh, ooh, like this. <laughs> so this part would be here, and the skirt goes all to to the bottom. And this was originally designed so this green part was entirely covered by the other panels. As you can see, it's almost. I mean, it needs to be ironed. <laughs> It, it, you can almost uh, see the green part. It moves around the skirt just like Anna's. See, it's kind of big. The first plan was to have 10 panels of this all hand embroidered with a full stitch. But with the stress, this was a dress for competition. With the stress, I lost a lot of weight and ended up having to remove panels Oops. <laughs> I had to remove panels and that's why this happens but I was still able to kind of hide this zipper here and that's why it's not as full because it was supposed to be a fuller skirt now Another thing I did at the time is you can I don't know if you can see it on camera but these are two layers of fabric always all around this is an organza I'm going to zoom you guys in this is these are two layers of fabric that are overlapped and again here are two layers of fabric this is also two layers of fabric. Uh, I opted by this solution because when I was building this cosplay I didn't find the exact colors I wanted to, uh, so everything would match with the original Disney design. And so what I did was I found a, an opaque, like with no shimmer, a fabric and then I've overlaid um, a transparent organza. Actually this is all made with curtain material so I could make curtains for my house with this. <laughs> and I didn't have an overlock machine so it was 
kind of a, a stress, so everything would be inside. Now, let's turn this around and zoom you guys out. Oh, and yes, this was all hand embroidered one by one, and it took me around 300 hours. I stopped counting at 300. Now, for the top part, have in mind that here, under all this, I have a corset. And so I have the top. I don't know if I'm going to be able to put it through here. I won't. Okay, I won't be able to put it here. So we're going just to pin this guy here. Ta-da! So the top was made using stretch uh, black denim and also and embroidered it. And this part here is a vice tape that I made myself. I bought the tape, like pressed it down with a, an iron and then sew it all around. Uh, embroidered on the front and also, sorry, forgot to show you, it's embroidered in the back. It was really difficult to find this pattern but I did it and as you can see it is cut straight on the back and it has this pointy uh, part on the front. Now, uh, if you see some of my photos from the time, oh and also the drop uh, slips. If you see some of uh, some photos from that time you'll notice that this top wasn't uh, designed like this. It was actually longer because Anna's top didn't stop at her waist. It actually ended up a bit lower on her hips and I did it exactly the same. However, um, a few years ago I decided to do some changes. Uh, I've decided to do some changes uh, to the cosplay and upgrade it a little bit because I ended up losing more weight after all this so I changed the cosplay a bit more. I wasn't able to um, change more the skirt, I just pushed the, the waistband a bit uh, tighter, that's why it has those clasps. Uh, I've changed them uh, to make it tighter and also ended up adding a crinoline under it or I mean a hoop skirt so I'm going to show you guys how it looks with the hoop skirt so this is my hoop skirt I'm going to put this a bit further away uh, it's a six hoops six uh, hoops uh, skirt that I bought from eBay a long long time ago and I did change it a little bit uh, after buying it I've added a trim in the bottom so it looks prettier and so my Anna Coronation Gown 2.0 actually has the white stockings, the bloomers, the hoop skirt and then the underskirt which is by the way a full circle skirt made with two panels because to be this long I couldn't make it with just one And then the corset and then the skirt.
and it's because of this change here because now my hip part like elongates a bit on the outside I wasn't able to wear the top as cinched thin as it was and that's why I've cut it so it would sorry so the bottom part would stay here instead of lower Okay, so mm, okay, so now you might ask, but it's all hand embroidered. It has two layers of fabric and all the other layers under it. Why did you have a third layer inside the skirt? I mean, this green part. Um, this is because um, of the fact that when I was walking around, the first time I wore this dress. In an event, it was for a competition for a Cosplay World Masters in 2016, I think. And my embroidered actually was stuck in another cosplayer's boots. And I noticed that when I was walking, I'm a bit clumsy like Anna. So when I was walking, um, some of the thread was being pulled and that was ruining uh, the front part that's why just to protect the entire embroidery and my so many hours of work i've decided to add another skirt inside i just sew it by hand and redid all the hemline for it for shoes simple black shoes and my wig that you know i'll leave the, the photo for a comparison and this is it this is how I've worked with my Anna and how I achieved this final version that unfortunately I can no longer have the green inside part uh, hidden away because of all the, the space it now <laughs> occupies but it's a bit comfier to wear like this um, I want to remake this cosplay actually, do the entire skirt, do everything with a puffy petticoat under it so I wouldn't have to wear a hoop skirt because uh, on Broadway, the, the musical version of the, the movie, she wears an amazing puffy petticoat in green tones. However, for me to be able to pull that off, I won't be able to embroider everything, so I'll be painting the pattern. Uh, but I have so many cosplays I want to do that I won't be doing that in the nearest future, uh, because I do have other plans. So, if you have any questions about any particular part of the building of this cosplay, leave a comment down below or on my social media. I'll leave all the links in the description box below. So uh, be sure to follow me on Instagram, TikTok and so many other <laughs> places I am. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!